Today's labor issues and unionization at Amazon are just the tip of the iceberg. In a country with historically strong labor unions, under the American Federation of Labor and Congress of Industrial Organizations, the AFL-CIO, membership in unions has plummeted over the past 30 years, from 20% in 1983 to less than 11% by 2019. Today, the U.S. ranks among the bottom five of all 36 OECD countries when it comes to its union density. The picture is even bleaker, with half of unionized workers living in only six states, including California, New York, and Pennsylvania. And while non-unionized workers make, on average, 20% less than their unionized colleagues, CEOs' earnings have increased exponentially. And so, in short, the case of Amazon could be a wake-up call, one that could invigorate not only the working and the middle class, but also push the Biden administration to enact pro-labor legislation before labor issues become more and more contentious and more dangerously polarizing in a country already rife with racial and social tensions.